What's up? So we are really burnt. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> we are at the Delaware Gap National Recreation Area. There's a lot of cars driving by. And uh, we've done all sorts of cool stuff while we've been here. This is a 70,000 acre park. There's over 100 miles to hike. There's over 26 miles that you can hike on the Appalachian Trail. There's 40 miles that you can kayak down the river. There's 32 miles that you can mountain bike on the, uh, what's the name of that trail? Uh, McDade. The McDade Trail. Um, awesome, awesome, beautiful, smooth path. Path. It's uh, packed gravel, so there's no crazy mud or anything like that. It's a little bumpy. <laughs> it's a little bumpy, yeah, the gravels are bumpy. Um, uh, I would say, what, what was one of the downsides to the, the mountain, to the biking? Uh, lots of mosquitoes, because you're in a very wooded area yeah. right by the river, so yeah. um, lots bring of your mosquitoes. Bring your mosquito spray if you ride the bicycles, and um, some sunblock as well, because we are toasty. Um, we also went up to the, the Pocono um, Educational Center. Uh, it was awesome. We did the, what was the name of the trail that we hiked while we were there? Um, Tumbling Falls. Tumbling Falls. Yeah, it was Tumbling Falls Trail. Uh, how long was that? 3.2 miles. 3.2 miles. Awesome trail. Um, did a little, good little dip. Then you had to try, climb back out after you see the waterfall. It was beautiful. So if you ever get the chance to come up here, Delaware Water Gap. Okay, it's on the it's a Delaware River. It's famous for the gap that it makes through the mountains here, and it is absolutely beautiful. We'll show you guys some clips of the mountain biking and the hiking, and uh, you will love it. We are not on the New Jersey side. We are on the Pennsylvania side, and the uh, the river just kind of splits it right down the middle there, and it's gorgeous. If you get the chance, come here. The mountain biking is amazing. Um, what would you say that it, re it reminds you of? This place really reminds me of the Smokies. There's all kinds of like touristy stuff. It's like a miniature Smokie. So you've got go-karting, kayaking, yeah. all kinds of zip lining places. Yeah. Um, there's like bumper, uh, bumper water car. boats. Yeah. Um, all kinds of arcade things. And there's like a little tiki bar on the side of the road. It's really interesting. Yeah. We're, we're from Tennessee. So, and we, we would always frequent like Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge and places like that and it reminds us a lot of it because like she said everywhere you go There's a zipline place or or go-karts and someone's trying to get you to go mountain biking or kayaking It's really cool. It's a very active place You got to go about 10 miles south of the park before you get into that But it's a very touristy area, but at the same time you can get down to the river and it's very quiet It's very beautiful um, if you just want to drive, there's a river road that you can just drive down and it's very scenic um, and it gets you away from the city and it gets you down into the wilderness. It's yeah. beautiful. So we had a good time. Um, go team. Yeah. That's another one marked off the list and another stamp that we got to get. Yeah. Just a heads up, just to let you know, there was a very bad storm that come through here in... March. In March? Yeah. I think it was March. Did a lot of damage. We'll show you guys some video of some of the damage. And um, yep, it's Dingman's Falls and Dingman's Visitor Center. It's totally closed off, and that was one of the main attractions of this place. But uh, if you get to come by, there's still plenty of other stuff you can do, oh, yeah. and you will love it. So camping is expensive around here. Yes. So if you want a cheap place to go and you don't care to boondock, go to Walmart because yeah. it's free. That's yep. where we're staying. Walmart's about 15 miles south of the park. It's not that bad. It's always free as it's usual. Free. Every every campsite around here that we have found has been anywhere from 45 to $65 a night. And we're just kind of like, ah, eh, nah. we'll, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll rough it in the parking lot. Um, we did find one campsite that would let us dump our sewer. Um, so we were, and it was just 10 bucks to dump there, which yeah. is nice. Every other place was like $20 or they wouldn't let you come in. The KOA south of the park will not let you dump your sewer. Um, and the, the, the Foxwood, was it Foxwood? Foxwood Family park allowed us to dump for 10 bucks and they were very helpful they helped me with some stuff i was some issues that we were dealing with with the camper and uh it was a good time thumbs up for the uh, delaware water gap the national recreation area high five hoorah see you guys bye
Tumbling Waters Trail, and there's an extra, there's another trail on this called the Two Ponds Trail, and it kind of branches off from the Tumbling Waters. You see the Two Ponds sign here, and then this is the actual trail. And you can see how much debris is down on this trail right now. So um, that storm messed them up pretty bad. And uh, the Park Service has done a really good job at cleaning the tumble, Tumbling Waters Trail. And it uh, looks like they're still getting to the two ponds. <laughs> So, we just climbed out of the trail for the waterfalls, and um, we thought, yay, we made it to the top. And then, <laughs> come to find out, when you climb up out of the trail for the waterfalls, let's see, you can see behind us, that's the rest of the way. That's the rest of the trail we haven't done, and it's all uphill. I mean, 100%. So, it's a pretty big climb once you come out of the waterfalls, um, but once you reach the top, the view is definitely worth it. Yes, it's, it's beautiful. so beautiful. So uh, we had to work pretty hard to get up here, um, and it's a pretty, it's a pretty steep climb, but uh, we made it. It's beautiful. I think we're about mm, a little over halfway through the trail, so we're gonna keep on chugging. 